It's the final destination for the thousands of Christian pilgrims who walk the way of St. James each year. And for the past nine years, the Spanish city of Santiago de Compostela has also hosted the Amal International Euro-Arab Film Festival. 26 feature and documentary films have been screened in the official competition. As well as the program itself, workshops on a variety of activities from belly dancing to Arab cookery to calligraphy were held. The aim after the train bombings in Madrid in 2004 was to build bridges between Western and Arab societies. There are still a lot of cliches associated with the Arab world. Many people don't understand the difference between Arab and Muslim. They think it's all the same. This confusion prevents people from understanding the diversity of the Arab culture and its influence on our own culture. The Arab Spring proved fertile material for filmmakers. The documentary Leave Tahrir Square's Diary by the young Catalonian director Mark Almodovar chronicles the 18-day protests that brought down the regime of President Hosni Mubarak. <laughs> Jury member and analyst Hizam Amira Fernandez. The Arab world is really occupying the headlines in all international media this year because of the social and political changes going on. I think the films selected by the festival deal with some of the most important issues that have triggered this turmoil in the Arab world. Cuestiones de fondo que han hecho que el mundo árabe se encuentre en un estado de ebullición. The jury awarded the best fiction film ex Aquio de Cairo Exit and Son of Babylon. Young actor Yasser Talib won Best Actor for his part as Ahmed, a 12-year-old boy who, two weeks after the fall of Saddam Hussein, follows his grandmother on a search for his prisoner of war, father. Cairo Exit is both a love story and a portrait of the city's young generation. The film was banned in Egypt after the director refused to make changes to comply with the country's censors. Director Hashem Asawi says he hopes the new government will improve freedom of expression for Egyptians. With regards to the film industry and artists in general, it should mean greater liberty. There's no longer the fear of writing, producing or making films. Not just artists, but everyone benefits from the revolution, which has broken down this wall of fear. But just how the next regime will react to this new situation remains to be seen. Arab attraction explores the radical changes made by an Austrian feminist when she falls for a Yemeni man 20 years younger. She converts to Islam and becomes his second wife. to live a simple life as a wife under the protection of her husband. Why? It's logical and rational because Allah Almighty created woman with a tender heart. At the beginning, there was something I didn't understand. There was this woman who's always been a feminist and atheist, and she fell in love with a Yemeni man and converted to Islam and had to give up her feminist principles. For me, that's always a good start for a documentary, to try to understand something I don't understand by making a film.
Other winners included Julia Amati and Stephen Nattenson for Best Documentary for This Is My Land, Hebron, and Adil Al-Fadil for Best Short Fiction Film, Quarter V.